All right, everybody, I'm back again. A uh, couple of updates on the cell. I put a, uh, a drain valve on my cell, and that's just gonna save me some trouble. And then I got my tube going to the back there, and I have added an outlet tube going up there. Um, I also put my rectifier down here and cleaned up my wires. So now I only have one wire for each connection. Um, it did burn up my other rectifier. I don't know how I did that, but uh, they were out of the 1000 volt one, so I got a 600 volt one. And uh, that's what we're running now same amperage just uh, less voltage um, so let's fire this thing up and we'll uh, start cranking it up we're uh, up to 45 volts, still no action, 50 volts, this is a 31 plate cell, alright now we're starting to get some bubbles, and it's at 56 volts, all the way up to 60 volts, and at 60 volts, we start drawing 1.8 amps. Go up to where I've been running it, around 65 volts. And that gives us 3.8 amps. And about 2.2 volts per plate. So you can see now that uh, my exit hole is relieving quite a bit of pressure. That was back there. And uh, I had to cut my gasket here so things aren't as clean as I would have liked them to be but I relieved a lot of that pressure and it now has a way to escape. Um, I wanted to recap a few things that I've learned and uh, seen a lot of people that are saying that uh, running things in series is more efficient than say a 12 volt system with you know five or six wires connected instead of one or two um, some kind of magnetic field uh, I'm not experiencing that this thing runs right around a 6 MMW, it's the exact same cell, you know, um, nothing really different other than my power supply and uh, how many wires I got hooked up and it's a 6 MMW cell. Um, I, I range from about 5.7 to 6.1 and that's around cold starts. I got a 6.3 to a 6.7 but that was all thermal expansion due to uh, running it all day, um, so they don't count. Um, so, I got a lot of tests to do for the future, and uh, there's quite a few different ways I want to take this, but uh, that's going to take a little bit of time to get everything set up. So far I'm pretty happy at having two holes. One of the things that I did notice is, is it seems to draw a lot more fluid. This bubble is a lot bigger now that I got that exit tube out. So it seems to be circulating the fluid much easier, which I think will give me a cooler cell and uh, um, maybe help me with some of the foaming issues I was having. I'm not sure about that yet. I'm real skeptical on that, um, but 
I want to exhaust all of my um, ideas before I start mixing extra chemicals in there. I think the foaming is a problem with the uh, stainless steel leaching certain things in with the KOH and it's causing a degradation over time and so I'm using 304 stainless steel and I'd be willing to bet that at 316 stainless steel my electrolyte would probably last longer before it starts foaming real bad um, but that's in future tests too I have 316 on the way and I'm gonna build another cell um, but if that doesn't work if that doesn't completely solve the issue then I'll have to start adding a defoamer to the fluid which I don't want to do because I'm not a chemist and I just don't know what that's gonna do over time so if anybody does know and I have done long-term tests then you know let me know um, I'd like to hear from you so anyway that's just a quick recap of uh, some of the things that I've learned um, anyway uh, your comments would be more than welcome and uh, have a good one